a male in his 60s presents the ED with sudden right-sided weakness and has a non-contrast CT head. What's the diagnosis? Let's go through the case. With a sudden hemiparesis, we need to think about a stroke. Usually these patients will get a non-contrast CT head. Now a lot of the time the CT may not pick up the early signs of an ischemic stroke. However, its real use is to rule out that the symptoms are due to hemorrhage or a space occupying lesion. Now there are some features, however, that can tell us there is a stroke on CT in the first few hours. An ischemic occlusion accounts for about 85% of stroke. This can be thrombotic or embolic. In terms of emboli, given its size and its position, the most commonly affected vessel is the middle cerebral artery. Now remember, stroke patients may not always present with classic symptoms, so recognising the early signs of an MCA stroke on CT is important in identifying these patients. So what are the acute signs of an ischemic MCA stroke on CT? The first sign is a hyperdense MCA. This represents the clot within the vessel and will be seen immediately. Have a look at this separate case and we can see a bright vessel within the right-sided sylvian cistern. This is the M2 segment of the middle cerebral artery and it's hyperdense. So this is an acute stroke. If you're not completely sure, compare the vessel to any other vessels on the same slice and here we have a comparison to the other side and the right MCA is much brighter. In our case, we can see the middle cerebral arteries on both sides and they look equal in density, so no hyperdense MCA. Now let's have a look at the first image again. Here we can see the insular cortex. This is supplied by perforating branches from the M2 segment of the middle cerebral artery. Abnormality of the insula is commonly seen early on in an MCA stroke, as it is an area of the MCA territory that has less collateral supply from the anterior and posterior cerebral arteries. First, let's have a look on the right. Here, this darker area is an internal capsule, which is a white matter structure. The insular cortex should be brighter than this, as it is over here. On the left, things are different. First, we have this dark focus within the lentiform nucleus, similar to CSF. This is a mature lacuna infarct. So in this acute scenario, I'm not too worried about this. However, look at the left-sided insula. It's a similar density to the internal capsule. This is subtle, but this is abnormal. This is called loss of the insular ribbon sign and is an early indicator of an MCA territory ischemic stroke. Here's a CT angiogram, and here we can see the internal carotid arteries about to divide into anterior and middle cerebral arteries. This is the M1 segment of the MCA. Then we lose it on the left side as we head into the M2 segment. Notice how it's patent on the right. This confirms an acute MCA stroke. Although sometimes the diagnosis of stroke is clear cut from the clinical presentation, there are times when it's not so clear. So looking for the early signs of stroke on CT can make all the difference.